Good day everyone, welcome back to Isla Ibatan. Last episode, I built this relocation site for the informal settlers along the railroad tracks so we could make way for the construction of a railway underpass in the city center, hoping to fix the traffic on these major intersections. Will it actually work? Stay tuned to find out. But before I start, if you are new sub, thank you for joining my channel. And for those who have been with me for a while, thank you so much for staying. If you haven't, please subscribe and smash that like button. Okay, now that we have a relocation site, we can now safely move these shacks out of the way and build a rail underpass under the main road. There are a lot of things I did off camera. I realized that I put so much detail in this area. I probably cut a good 30 minutes out of this video of me just deleting all of these garbage. Now that it's all cleaned up, I've sunk in the train tracks a couple of meters below the main road and then added some retaining walls on both sides. And then I realized I can put a sunken train station here. This would be a perfect spot for transferring from intercity light rail transit to long haul train line connection just like the Philippine National Railways or PNR. By the way, if you didn't see the last episode, my new train asset, just like you see here, the PNR 8000 series, is now available in my Steam Workshop. The link is in the description box below. The tracks I'm using is called Station Tracks, made by Revo and Ronix69. The asset just comes with the tracks and nothing else, so you could create a fully customized terminal however you want it configured. You can even choose what type of railroad ties you want to use. It could be made out of wood or concrete and the flooring could be gravel or pavement. Or you can even choose from wired or non-electric. You name it, they have it in the workshop. The only finicky part about this is creating the pedestrian route. I'm using sidewalks which then converted into invisible paths that is routed to the stairs and they'll be crossing on the surface level instead of crossing on the tracks. You just gotta keep in mind when the sims gets off the train, they will always choose the shortest route to get to a nearest sidewalk. So if crossing on the tracks is faster, then they'll choose to cross on the tracks. So you have to make the pedestrian path as close as possible to where the sims spawn out of the train. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's the best way I could explain it. I guess you're just gonna have to try it yourself and experiment. And of course, we're gonna put some guardrails because safety first. And then let's put a bubble tea shop because there's nothing better than bubble tea after a long commute. Then I chose to use transparent roofing so everyone could see how it all works once it's all done. It's pretty satisfying to watch hundreds of people move through the little maze I created. You'll see it in a bit. Now you can see here the traffic is moving pretty quick in front of the shopping mall despite of the construction area over here and then going under the skyway and through the bridge where the railroad crossing used to be. And then here's the partially finished train station. We're not done yet but let me just show you how it works. So when people get off the train, they take the stairs, then across this bridge. Some of them will go straight and go up the LRT. And some of them will walk along this pathway. So after a long commute, they probably don't like bubble tea. Maybe they just need a quick snack at 7-Eleven. So let's put a 7-Eleven here. Let's put more businesses here. Maybe a bank, a couple of restaurants people could choose from before they go out to the main road where they can catch a taxi or ride the jeepney to their destination. Now let's take a look at before and after shots and then we'll go to our second half of this video. We're just getting started here guys, so stick around.
So I was thinking about a good reason why would there be a central terminal hub here. This area got to have some type of landmark. That's when I decided to create one of the most requested asset I get from my Filipino viewers, which is the Philippine International Convention Center, also known as PICC. Considered as a brutalist architectural design, PICC is composed of five building modules, which is why it took me a couple of weeks to create this asset. PICC was designed by Leandro Loxin, now considered as a Philippine national artist. PICC is a convention center located in the cultural center of the Philippines complex in Pasay, Metro Manila. In 1974, then President Ferdinand Marcos signed the presidential decree which authorized the Central Bank of the Philippines, now Banco Central ng Pilipinas, to construct the International Conference Building. This was a part of the Marcos's efforts to make Metro Manila as one of Southeast Asia's financial centers. The construction of the PICC complex was undertaken in a short span of 23 months from November 1974 to September 1976. On September 5, 1976, the PICC, Asia's first international convention center, was officially inaugurated when it hosted the 1976 IMF World Bank meeting. The facility has been the host of numerous local and foreign conventions, meetings, fairs, and social events. PICC was used to house a legislative body from 1976 to 1978. It also served as the office of the Vice President of the Philippines until 2005. Nowadays, during the pandemic, it's being used as a quarantine facility for medical frontliners. So I just want to take this moment to make a huge shout out to all of the medical frontliners who were non-stop taking care of our people during these hard times. You are truly modern day heroes of this nation. So if you or you know anybody that is working as a frontliner, give a quick shout out in the comment section down below. And just like we always do, we'll honor them by naming one of these buildings after them. Well, thank you all so much for sticking around. If you haven't done so, make sure to subscribe and smash that like button. Otherwise, mabuhay and see you next time.